Hey, awaken. Ready for some spiritual manna? Welcome to the Good Info Cafe, where multiple intelligences meet each day. I'm JK. Today, as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. Okay, in the middle of the move from this final Good Info Cafe YouTube video or video from this location in outside the Beltway, outside Washington, D.C., Silver Spring, Maryland. Here's my, um, so just strawberry and raspberry. No added sugar. And um, so here we go. The, here's to the future of the Good Info, Good, Good Info Cafe. It will be appearing on the, um, the boat tour, the three-hour tour. That may be in the middle of June. We'll see. Thank you, Brent and Sean, for organizing it, and, and John. Um, and I'm a little bit in the loop now that um, I'm almost done with my move. So get your... We break bread, and we have spiritual manna. We do the physical and the spiritual here. And um, so I'm getting there. So about to pack that. But there you go. It's okay. Da, da, da. <laughs> Beautiful background. Backyard. So much um, room out here now. It's going to be squishier. I'll be inside. The, no, just, just outside the beltway. So, very... <clears throat> oh, yeah. So, here we go. Here's to <clears throat> the future and the end of an age. And um, so, so here's to the Scrunchies and to George Webb and to McDuff and John O'Laughlin and all of you out there at the Good Info Cafe. I think today is going to be a shorter one. And uh, yeah, so one main point, the main point, oops, uh, six, like 60 year old wrinkles. There we have it. Okay. Um, and I don't think I can. And my birthmark in the shape of Old City Jerusalem. See, it's my knee, and there's the birthmark right there. And, um, but really important. And Brent Shineman, uh Brent Think Tank 2.0, we had a good discussion about the concept I want to get across for today. So, main concept. Um, and I'm just trying to think my format so that I, so the question of the day, I don't know. And the, um, and the grade. So I'll be thinking about that as I'm doing this. And I'm just going to go like that because my beard, I haven't shaved in a while is, is tickling my nose. Um, hello. oh, hello. Who's that? Okay. Thank you. And somebody at the front door, and now a huge mosquito. Go to the window, mosquito. Go to the window, and then I'm going to shut you. I'm not going to kill it yet. Yeah, there we go. Get in there. Okay. So, I don't even know what that is at the front door. Let's go see. Um, they dropped something here. A delivery, I guess. Um, Okay, yeah, package. But probably not for me. I'm not going to show. Um, yeah, okay. So there we have it. Um, and where was I? Well, the main concept critical thinking and creative thinking. So the, oh, the main point. I'm going to get across, I, I want to get across as a teacher, 
I teach the teacher and the sinner. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Um, is creative thinking. This is really important. So all of those who really understand the Good Info Cafe, and there's plenty of you out there, creative thinking is just as important as critical thinking. So let me explain. Critical thinking seems to be very accepted in our culture. And I say the multiple intelligences, there's seven, eight, nine, ten, you can slice it different ways. Logical, mathematical um, intelligence and um, verbal linguistic are overemphasized in our culture. And that's critical thinking. So it's very acceptable, critical thinking. But creative thinking, not as acceptable. I, you know, we can debate that. But what I want to make sure it's clear, creative thinking is just as important as critical thinking. And possibly in the end of an age, in these times, creative thinking is going to be possibly more important than critical thinking. But let's say critical thinking has been up here in Western culture for a long time, and maybe even world culture. Creative thinking, just like this, goes all up and down and, and think Brent Think Tank 2.0, and I had a really good discussion about it, so I'll try to remember some of the things he said. But so let's say we emphasize the creative thinking for a while. Eventually, I, they can even out, but in this time period, creative thinking may be more important because of the control freaks and the artificial intelligence and the algorithms um, are stupid overall compared to human, the human brain. Um, you know, they're way behind and they don't do well with creative thinking, with uh, humor, um, etc. They do much better with critical thinking. That's the logic and reasoning. Um, and reasoning points, starts to take from logic over into the creative thinking, but logic is um, cause and effect uh, one step at a time, that kind of thing. Reasoning can do quantum leaps. <laughs> As you can see, I'm obsessed with all those wrinkles. A lot of life, a lot of life in this body here. I've seen a lot, a lot, a lot of ups and downs. Okay, here we go. Sure is a riddle like it. Boom, boom. Rockin' the Casper. Rockin' the Casper. So... Now, some, some ways of getting across why I think it's as important or more important. And I, I don't know, I don't have to sell a lot of you who are listening. Those critical thinkers know how important creative thinking is. But the reason why I'm saying it might be more important in this age, in the end of the age, until the end of the age, then they'll be balanced and back to how it was in the Garden of Eden, how it was the restitution of all things, um, how God created the universe in harmony and some things Brent was saying was natural, the true godly natural way. And having um, God is a um, external force beyond the selfish ego. Each person's selfish ego. You get these people. He should be censored. I want him censored because it's all about that person. They're so they're lost souls. We got a lot of lost souls out there. So remember, I'm jumping around, but the Wizard of Oz is a great metaphor. L. Frank Baum. Because um, it, it did address political issues of the time, which still are relevant now, 100 years later. The monkeys were happy when the Wicked Witch was accidentally melted. The soldiers of the Wicked Witch were happy. Ultimately, they had to go through a little bit of a shock. She's dead, Dorothy, all that kind of stuff. But then when it sinks in, they are so happy, the Wicked of the Witch, the Wicked of the Witch... <laughs> of the West, the Wicked Witch of the West, the Wicked of the Witch of the West was dead. There's so many people around the world who are playing into the system, the beast, and following it because so many are just followers. They're sheep and they need shepherds. So there's many shepherds out there, but I think the uh, American Revolution was either 3%, 5%, no more than 10% who really did action literacy. So you had the road 
to hell is paved with good intentions. See, how, there's a difference. Intentions. Trying is action. So when you're trying to love your enemies, that's an action. So that's not, it does not fall under the category of the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Good intentions are just, I thought of helping that person. So then I'm a great person because I thought about it. No, it comes down to your actions. And by the way, yes, we are saved by Jesus, but works are still important. See, works come out of salvation. Works are now different and new and better, but we still fall short. Anyway, my point, creative thinking is going to take creative thinking. So uh, Jalex Owens, who's being censored um, by the technocrat control freaks, and they're control freaks. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. The creative thinkers, they use them up. So they love Tesla and all the things that Tesla brought, but he was um, destitute at the end. And um, Van Gogh, they, you know, sell his paintings. And when I say they, I'm talking about the control freaks who hurt the source of the creative stuff. There are plenty of people who appreciate a Van Gogh and the creative people, and they don't destroy them. But so much of the system because these control freaks are jealous of the creative types. And so many of the ones who are a control freaks, you really can be creative. Everyone has creative in them. So everyone has critical thinking and creative thinking at whatever level. At 70 IQ for Down syndrome, they can be creative all the way to 160 plus IQ. And I do think that George's IQ is up in there. Paul Zarkowski's is 163. Um, I was told mine um, it's a long story but anyway it's uh, something I can talk about later but um, anyway so where am I so the creative thinking is a way to get around is a way to push back at the censorship to push back at the control freaks push at, back at the technocrats and technocrat is a negative connotation like bureaucrat does describe, but it also has a negative connotation because of what the bureaucrats have done with their power. They're good people, people who are on the good side of God in all systems, okay? So don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Um, when things start to really get... Um, the uh, tribulations, <laughs> the great tribulation... Um, be careful about throwing out the baby with the bathwater. So that's the main point. I'm trying to think. Um, creative thinking is a way, and in this time period, I think is going to end up being more important. You have to have cri critical thinking as a foundation for creative thinking. Creative thinking by itself without critical thinking, um, no, is crazy and wild. But the two together, but right now you're going to be called upon to use your creative thinking more. And that's why I say, Jesus extremist, and I'm going to say Jesus extremist, equals extreme love. See, they're trying to, the, the control freaks are trying to um, take over the language, take over definitions. They won't define things, or if you're in a discussion, one way to know uh, um, who you're dealing with is they won't define things. Get out, get away, don't deal with them. Um, you have a lot of sincere people on the left and on the right. So, I think that's it, goodbye, I think that's it, so far, I think that's it, show far, I think that's it, goodbye, goodbye from the Good Info Cafe from this original location, the next one on Wednesday will be from the new location. Without a big breath, our 
are we in the end of an age? I'm looking at the button. Will I get the button right? <laughs>